struggling. Three is 17, three is six in the swag. And I mean, overall, when it comes to these teams, you got one team, Alabama State, that's really at the bottom of everything statistically. And Alabama, when it comes to Grambling State University, they're tops in a lot of things. The only thing that they're kind of low in is uh, uh, defense, which is six. They're third in uh, offense, second in offense. They have stats out of this number. I mean, this team is really good. Yeah, I do, I do agree, OJ. As I do see with Alabama State, they're not that great in rebounding. We're one of the, one, the best rebounding teams in the SWAC. I knew they do have, they have the number two rebounder in the SWAC total, but as a team, it is not that good as a team rebounding and assist-wise, too. They don't really move the rock as much as I'd like to see. There's not a lot of team work when it comes to Alabama State, but it's also individual. I mean, Grambling State University has them a lot of players, key players. One of their best players is returning, but who took over while she was gone, Demaya Young. Great player, number 24 for Grambling State University. And she's an all-around player. She's 10, she's averaging 10 points per a game. And while her best player was gone, she was averaging 13. So she's yeah. quite a great player. Yeah, she, I do see she can step up in big moments when you're missing your best player to go from 10 to 13 points. It may seem little to some people, but as a team player, that's a huge jump to make. And Cordeja Harris on the other end for Alabama State is a monster. She is in top 10 in points top 10 in rebounds, and top 10 in blocks. And I mean, she is a monster for this team. She is. I wouldn't be surprised if she goes for a double-double today as she does average 8.8 8 rebounds, rebounds per game. She's high up there in points too. I mean, I mean, we can really see her go for 14 and 10, but as a team-wise, I don't think that's going to do much for Alabama State today. Yeah, most definitely. It's going to be a game that we're going to see two tested battles and both the teams really working hard. We'll be right back here with the tip-off on Grandma State University Sports Television Network. Back here on the Grambling State University Sports Television Network as we have tip-off. Alabama State will get the ball first for Grambling State University. On the floor will be number 24, Demaya Young, our star player that we talked about. Number one, DP, Dushan Preen. We'll also have number three, Ar 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 Ariana Mosley. We'll have number 34, Amanda Blake. And last but not least, our big woman in the paint, Anija Grant, number 15. As Anija Grant. She is 10th in rebounds in the swag with 6.2 rebounds per game. Shots no good. Offensive rebound for Alabama State. Fighting for it. It goes out of bounds, and it will be a last touch by Alabama State. Grandma State University will gain possession. On the floor for Alabama State, we have, of course, number four returning player, Nakia Sanders. Then we'll have number one, Danielle Bolton. Number 11, Justina Graham. Well, I have number, I think that's number two, Ryan Teals. Shot is up, no good. There's that leading rebounder for our team right there, Nigel Grant, as we were just talking about. And an interesting look for Alabama State University as their star player that we did we talked about a lot is not in the game so far. Cordacia Harris, whereas the number 20 DP tries to get a Nigel Grant, is going to travel out of bounds. Yeah, I, I do want to see how they're going to play without starting and not without starting Cordasia Harris today, as she is their leading sco scorer, rebounder. As we get another rebound there. Yeah, another offensive rebound. Amanda Blake shot up, no good. And Nigel Grant, another offensive rebound. Another, another offensive one. rebound. Another put up, and it, this time it will be different because you will get the bucket in. Two for Grambling State University after chance, after chance, after chance, after chance. They'll get the bucket in. As we're seeing early on, they're already struggling with the rebounds. I just watched four offensive, rebound, four offensive rebounds right there. And Nigel Grant, I mean, one of those players, she has been outstanding for Grambling State University as well. I mean, she's, when it comes to rebounds, she's one of the top players as well on this team. And she could send back some shots. But her, I think her main importance as she gets the free throw in, we'll also have a change on the floor. We'll have, that will be... Jordan Carter coming in for Anija Grant. Anija Grant is going to sit down. Yes. Anija Grant has been putting up great numbers for this team as well. Of course. And then as we see Coach Simmons, she loves coming out in this full court press. 
That's one of her specialties, as I've as we've seen over the course of the season. It's her first year as head coach. And we just forced a turnover right there. Another turnover right there. That's going to be Sanders with the sniffling defense. And you were talking about coaches. I mean, we kind of have two historic coaches right here on both sides. I mean, Simmons, of course, in her first year here at Graham State University, you had a historic time over there at Troy, won three championships. But when it comes to the other end, Frida Freeman Jackson is no stranger to the swack as the buck is up and it's going to be no good. Rebound by Alabama State University. Frida Freeman Jackson, she has been with Alabama State for 26 seasons so far. Her record with them is 367 to 388 record. She's been able to take them to three regular season titles, three trips to the NCAA Champions uh, Tournament as well. Let's try to get a bucket up and that's going to be a foul on it's going to be an offensive foul. Offensive foul. It's going to go the other way. Graham State University is going to get it after Carter with the nice defense. That's going to be Tillis with the turnover. As Frida Freeman Jackson, as you can see there, she is no stranger to the swag. As she's playing against a newcomer to the swag, a, a, vi a very highly anticipated newcomer, to say at least, is that. As Amanda Blake has her at the top of the paint. Key. DP kicks to Demaya. Young shot up, Takes middle range, it. and it's going to be nothing but net. Defender in her face didn't matter. Two points for Grambling State University. Yeah, she settles for the long two there. She had the three-point shot for a second. And like I said, we've seen this full-court press. I think we're going to see this a lot all game, OJ. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to see that. A lot of teams like to play full-court press against uh, Alabama State University from what I've seen. They are a slow-paced team, so Grambling State University is doing something they don't usually do over. as DP. Steals it, but couldn't get the bucket in. Fast break transition, couldn't get the bucket in. As Graham State University was trying to extend the lead to seven points, but they'll stay at five. That's great defense there by Demaya Young. Almost a traveling violation by Graham, but couldn't get the bucket the two, in. Two on two fast break, though. Throws up another offensive rebound. Blake, Grant, back to Blake. I see they're slowing down the pace here now. Slowing down the pace, gives it to Nigel Grant. Nigel Grant kicks out to Demaya Young. DP, dribble drive, kicks back out to Young. Three-pointer, corner, three. It is good. It is good. How do you do? Another one for Grambling State University as now they extend the lead to eight. Eight-point lead. We also have Lady Targets, our third and three-point attempts in the SWAC overall. And we do like to shoot the three ball a lot, quite a bit. And I do expect a lot of threes this game as we are the better team. As... Oh, the call is going to be on Amanda Blake as she was looking to, for the call to be on Bolts, and it was bodies colliding in the paint. And Amanda Blake took the crash, and she's going to also take the foul as well, and she's going to be taking out the game as Tina Gardner is going to check in for it. We'll have some new faces as well for it. Alabama State University checking in is going to be Ashley Gray, and then we'll also have Christina Jackson on the floor. Another face on the floor is going to be Talia Hamilton as she put the shot up and it's going to be good. First two points for Alabama State University in this first quarter. DP kicks out to Gardner. Gardner to DP. That's why she just tested over that three right there as it was an open shot. She's still open. It's Gardner. Works in the paint. Right. Two bodies on her. Didn't matter. She's going to get the bucket in regardless. 10-2 your score. Dribble yeah. drive, kick out. Thought about it, he's gonna kick, pass it right back to Hamilton. Hamilton finds Sanders. Yeah, Sanders finds the bottom of the net for three. That's DK right there as they call her. DK gets the three-pointer in. DP is gonna pass it to Young. Young finds Mosley, oh. but Mosley loses it. And there's a fight for it. Ref said that's grand ball. It's going to be possession arrow. When it comes to jump balls, there is no jump balls in college basketball. It's going to go where the possession arrow is. And then land it to Gramlin State University. So it's Gramlin State University will get the ball back. And we'll also have some rotations in as well. DP is going to come out. Uh, we're going to also have Demaya Young come out. We'll have Mosley come out. We'll have chairs come in. We'll have Tenor come in. And we'll have also, we'll have Wormsley the player that we mentioned, the star player that was hurt for a while, she was only able to play seven games before she came back from injury. She's up to nine games now. This will be her 10th on the season as Gardner is going to be called with the traveling violation. 
Yeah, so as we seen Wamsley last week, she had a nice half-court shot, as, I, as I, we see y'all seen on the broadcast. It was a, some people call it a prayer, some people call it a miracle. I think it was a great shot. As there's gonna be a turnover there by Alabama State, quick turnover, Grandma State University is gonna get it back on their side of the court. And now she denies Grant wide open Warmly, in the middle. Denied Grant, Grant, Grant mid-ranger, stop and pop, all good, nothing but net. Another two points for Grandma State University as they are cruising here in this first quarter. We got, go look for a layup, air balls the layup. Layup is gonna be no good. It's gonna be a call on Alabama State. Grandma State University will get the ball back. We're gonna have a timeout on Alabama State's end as they're trying to get everything together as Freeman Jackson is gonna get her troops together and we'll have our troops, Simmons, getting together. We'll be right back here on the Grandma State University Sports Television Network. Did you know HBCUs are a great place to network? Yes. Did you know Cricket has a great network with speedy 5G and is a proud supporter of HBCUs? Yes. yes. Mia, everybody already knows that. <laughs> Dante, did you know this is an A and B conversation? So you need to see yourself act. He knows now. <laughs> Best tailgate, brisket. No, real football y pollo asado. Poops and wings. Dude, subs. Hot dogs. Chili dog. No, Dodger dog. It's gotta be crawfish. Now you talk burgers. Seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Um, what? You need a hot grill and an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke, come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day. Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. Grab yourself a Coke. It's tailgate 101. This session of the show is brought to you by Origin Bank, expanding your possibilities with flexible banking solutions. And also, Whataburger, we build a better burger. Right back here in action, first quarter, 12-5, Grandma State University has the lead and has been cruising to say the least so far. On the fourth for Grambling is going to be Warmsley, Tanner, Gardner, Chairs, and Grant. Warmsley with the ball. Warmsley with the mid-range stop and pop and hello. Another one goes for Grambling State University. Now is a nine-point lead. Four minutes and 20 seconds left in this first quarter. As I did see Tiana Grant had set a hard screen. Let's set that play up. There's got to play up as that was easy bucket for Alabama State University. And majority of their points has came from a bench player so far. Hamilton has came in the game, scored it four for them already with only three minutes of play for her. Warmsley kicks out chairs, three-pointer, corner three. I mean, Gramley State University don't know the word miss as they getting everything in right now. 10-point lead for them. As Kaya Chair, she had a nice three on the, on the corner right there. That was a great shot. As Alabama State, three-pointer up, no good. Three-pointer by Jackson. Grant has the rebound, kicks it to Tenner. Tenner finds Warmsley. Back to Warmsley. Tenner, wide open, three-pointer, no good. Grant gets the offensive rebound, the putback, but she will be fouled, and the process will go to the free throw line for two. Nigel Grant's been dominating on the boards today. As, as I did say earlier, Alabama State, they're one of the, they're not great against the rebounds. They had their star player. She has eight rebounds per game, but yeah. we're going to feast this game as we've been oh, seeing. As we, and also, talking about the star player, we have not seen her in yet, so we have not seen Shadir, uh, oh, she's coming Heritage. In. She's coming in now. I mean, we, we spoke <laughs> her into existence. Um, and she's going to check into the game now. Their star player leading the, in points, rebounds, and blocks is going to definitely need it. And we know we've been seeing so far that it's not a good rebound team, especially by one of the first possessions they had four offensive rebounds back to back to back. So rebounds is gonna be a big thing in this game. Tenner in the paint with the hard dribble, puts it up, all body, all muscle. Two points for Grandma State University. She will not be denied. She told her to hit the weight room right there, OJ, as I oh, see. Man. She said, get your weight up. They're trying to force As it. defense smothering right now, 
Alabama State tries to drive, and that's going to be Gardner who's going to tip it out of bounds. But great defense so far. Alabama State University just seems like they're suffocating so far. As I seen Gremlin, as they seen that they were double team on the left wing deep near the hash, they almost forced that backcourt violation, as I did see. But she got really close. She's able to swing the rock out. As we have some substitutions for Alabama State. Now we see Gremlin State University in a 3-2 zone, locking it up, playing great defense. Mid-range stop and pop by Alabama State. No good. Gremlin will get the ball as it will travel out of bounds. Last touch by Alabama State. As, Christ, as Christine Jackson, she had a nice pump fake on the VC on the left wing, mid-range. That was a great pump fake for her to be her defender, but like I said, traveling violation. As Brandon McKinney is going to come in for Grant. Tenor chairs. Going down. Thought about it. Tenor is going to dribble drive, takes it to the rim, but she's going to be blocked. She's going to be blocked by no other than Harris. That's what we were talking about. I'm going to go that man. She's we'll automatically making an impact as soon as she comes into the game. Great block by her. The best defensive possession that Alabama State has had so far has been with Harris in the game. Yeah, she's only been in for a minute, too. Only been in for a minute as we see another substitution as well. Checking in for Alabama State is going to be Whitney Dunn. Checking out is going to be Christina Jackson. Sanders finds Gray back to Gray. Sanders and Gray have been passing it back and forth as Gray finds Dunn. A lot of ball movement here. Shot up by Dunn. Three-pointer, no good. Tenner with the rebound. Tenner looking for the foul as well. Fast break opportunity. Tenner will finally get the foul. Honestly, see, I see a clear take of the back when she took it out. Yeah, well, definitely. That call. Clear pass foul right there. In the violation. Yeah, they, they kind of passed up on that one, as you can see on the replay there. Yeah. She's going to get caught up with the one catching up with her. Put a bar between her arm bar. Can't do that in basketball. Yes. That foul is going to be on Bolton. As I see, that three, they can't really beat that 3-2 defense. As the Lady Tigers have came out strong, they came out with full court press. Now they're in that 3-2. I mean, Alabama State hasn't done much to defend it, to beat the 3-2. Almost that, defensively, they've got every game plan that they really wanted to be executed so far. As we see for Alabama State, April Hooks is going to check in and checking out for is Ashley Gray. Yeah, one shot left. Same, still the same faces for Grambling State University. Free throw is good. She'll get the second one to go. 20 to seven. Two minutes and 16 seconds left in this first quarter, and Gramlin is getting everything they demand out of this one so far. Young to Hooks. Hooks back to Young. Young with the three-pointer. A deep three-pointer is going to swiss in. Goodness gracious, everything that she wanted. She got out of that one, 21 to 10. Alabama State now has double digits. Wormsley with a three of her own will not go. Gardner offensive rebound. Gardner will be fouled. Go to the free throw line for two. She shot that from the hash. You see OJ. Oh, yeah, most she's feeling her range. She and Sanders is like, this is nothing new for Sanders. I mean, she was a great player for them last year. And seeing where Alabama State is now is quite surprising because ever since 2019, they have been and they finished in the season top five. Each season since 2019, this season they look, doesn't even look like they'll even get close to the top five as we're winding down here in swag play. Free throw is going to be no good. And free throw goes. But this team has been an outstanding team for the last few years as Freeman Jackson has been, I mean, really getting them going. And then they've also had a top player that Nia Emanuel was a SWAC player of the year last year for Alabama State University. So it's, it, this is new waters. This is new territory for Alabama State. Wide open in the paint is Harris. Easy two points for her. You're going to have to keep an eye out for her as she gets things going here. That's how you beat that 3-2 defense. Got to attack the basket all game. Most definitely. They found the pocket and attacked it. And with Harris in the game, we're going to be probably seeing that a lot more often as DP passes to Carter. Carter finds Mosley. Mosley with the mid-ranger is going to be no good. No good. As we did see, last time Cordesia Harris did play our team, she had six total blocks. It was a career high for her in college. 
six blocks. I mean, she was sending shots back like Rudy Gobert. As Carter finds Tanner. Tanner doesn't get the shot to go in. McKinney tries to save it, but she's just going to go out of bounds. Alabama State will regain possession. But like you said, six blocks. And she's showing why now this season she's top three as far as blocks in the season. Last year, she was a part of this team too, but she kind of got overshadowed by Anaya Manuel, which was such a great player, slack player of the year last year. And now she has the time and opportunity this season to be player number one, which she has been. As Sanders is taking it up for Alabama State, DP in front of her. Pass the ball, great defense here is Carter. Gets in between that, is going to travel out of bounds, but great defense by Grandma State University is just smothering. They are not allowing Alabama State University to get an inch. Yeah, they smother. As soon as she crosses half court, they're smothering her with double teams. I mean, we already see them in that full court press, but as soon as she crosses half, it's like it's even worse. Oh. As that's going to be a moving screen, obvious moving screen there, Hamilton, and she already has a few fouls in this game, has two so far. Great play, great play there by Carter to kind of sell it. And there's going to be substitution for the Lady Tigers and the Lady Hornets for Grandma State University. New faces on the floor is going to be Jasmine Jackson. We're also going to have Jordan uh, Ivy. We're going to also have Demaya Young, Casey Chairs, and DP. And for our Alabama State University, they have a few new players. They're going to have hooks in. Hooks and uh, I think that's going to be Cortress. Tam Tamara Cortress, as she did just shout out the player who had the moving screen, as we did see. Yeah, Coach, most this yeah, a little she bit frustrated. just checked in, most definitely. So that's going to be the new faces on the floor for ASU. Shot up by Ivy. No good. It was looking good from where we were sitting, fighting for it. And that, we have a little bit of confusion here as we heard a little horn before. The clock went out, and then the clock went out. It was just a little bit of confusion as Sanders looked like she wanted to shoot the ball, but she didn't. But that will conclude our first quarter as your score here is 22-12. Grandma State University has a 10-point lead. We'll be right back here. We'll have some – actually, we'll have a little bit of time. We're trying to figure out what's going on with – yes, it's going to be the end of the first quarter. This portion of the game will be brought to you by Louisiana Lottery. Celebrate with the crew. Rocket Mortgage. Push button, get mortgage. Providing affordable mortgages and award-winning client service for more than 30 years. Nissan, proud sponsor of Collegiate Athletics. Another wide receiver in the house, my man. So, you ready to learn how the Heismans do it? Can't wait. Once at eight, then again at six. Hi. Did one of you gentlemen use Nissan at home to order 40 Pathfinders? Baker said it's another Heisman thing. I didn't think you'd believe me. Here are your keys, sir. Grammar State University Sports Television Network. I'm on Ajay Morris alongside Jordan Scott. As we have had our first quarter concluded, I mean, great defense by Grammar State University as they were able to smother Alabama State for the longest. But now we're starting to see Alabama State University utilize their star player, which is Harris, and she is checked into the game, and she's in the game right now. Yeah. Faces on the floor for Grandma State University. You got Demaya Young, you have Mosley, you have DP, you have Amanda Blake, and then you'll have Anijah Grant as your five on the floor. And as we've seen, Grandma's been winning this turnover battle this game. As we are, we are one of the top teams in forcing turnovers in the entire SWAC. Alabama State, they have the most turnovers over in the SWAC. And we've seen it this game as we've been seeing a lot of forced turnovers. As we almost forced one right there. Most definitely. I mean, steals and still right there. DP fast break. And she loses it. 
She tries to do something a little fancy there, and she loses the ball in the fast break opportunity. Alabama State will take it the other way. I've also seen that Gremlin has switched to man-to-man -man defense as they have gone out of that 3-2 zone. We'll see how that works, as it was working in the first quarter. Abandoning the zone a little bit here. Definitely into a man-man now. Sanders dribble drives, kicks out. Harris back to the bucket. As Amanda Blake was able to come up with the steal. Demaya Young, fast break opportunity to lay up is good. 12-point lead for Grandma State University now. Eight minutes in this second quarter. And so I did see she finished strong with the left hand on the left side of the basket. And she had a little bit of a year, I want to say. And she had a really strong step through. Little Mano Ginobili in that layup there. Kicks out to Sanders. As Damaya Young in the passing lanes intercepts it. Euro again, but she's going to be fouled in the process. Go to the free throw line for two. As we see, we're seeing a lot already. I really, I, like I said, about the turnover battle. We just forced two turnovers in a row. She almost had it right there. Started, but it's good that she drew the contact. And as we see, she's going up with that right. Gets absolutely slapped on her hand. Falls to the ground. As she shoots two free throws. We're one of the best free throws she's we're one of the best free throw shooting teams in the swag. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, as we are number one in attempts in the swag in free throws. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, when we go to the charity stripe, we don't really miss out much. And Simmons has made make sure that is a point of emphasis all the time as the free throws drop. Alabama State going to be taking it up. Aukridge. Aukridge with the ball, passes it to Harris. Harris. Kicks it off. One thing about Alabama State University, they make sure ball movement is going at all times as Dunn has Mosley working on in front of her. Dunn doesn't know what to do with it. Dunn kicks it out. Travel violation. And the shot clock was winding down. Yeah. I seen a little bit of panic there, OJ. Oh, yeah. You, the blood was in the water and shark infested water right there for Alabama State University. They did not know what to do in that situation as. DP comes to this side trying to get herself together. She's going to stay in the game. Nigel Grant. Nigel Grant and Amanda Blake in the game at the same time is always, you know, that is two big bodies to have in the paint. Yeah, you see Nigel Grant, she's having herself a monster day today. Nigel, man, as shot up, Demaya Young, no good. Nigel Grant with the rebound. And Nigel Grant kicks out. To DP, DP with the nice pass to Blake. Blake puts the shot up, had a wide open player. Mosley at the three point line, doesn't kick out. Missed the layup instead, going the other way, Alabama State. I think we just missed a basket violation as a goaltender. I see, I see a little bit of grab of the net. As Harris with the three point shot is gonna be pure from three point land. Harris is getting going here in this game as it's going to be a turnover as Alabama State University is starting to get a little bit momentum on their side as DP denies that. Great defensive work by DP. As Alabama State seemed like they were getting things kind of going there. We're going to have some new faces on the floor for Grambling State University. We're going to have Warmsley check in, Jackson check in. We're also going to have, checking out, excuse me, going to have Demite. Demaya Young checking out in DP. Yeah, that guy gave Demaya Young some rest as we've seen she forced those two crucial turnovers and got those free throws off. And I've seen a lot of great defense in this man-to-man, -man, but I do believe that zone is working a little bit better in my opinion. In most, so. in most, with our team, when it comes to rotations, we don't really have that big of a drop-off as the bucket is in by Dunn. As Alabama State University is first time in this game where they've had back-to-back -back possession with points. Jasmine Jackson, three-pointer, no good. Anija Grant will get the rebound, but Anija Grant will be called with a traveling violation. Took too many steps there. Yeah, she moved that pivot foot as soon as she came down that rebound. She did jab step and then move that pivot foot, unfortunately, so they could call a travel on her. As we'll have Dunn taking it up Warmsley in front of her. Screen set. She takes it going around it. Warmsley now in front of her. That's me. Jackson, Jackson on Jackson. Jackson with the layup, and Nigel Grant with the snifling defense. Layup will be no good. Going the other way, Graham State University. Yeah, she's checking the game. 
I honestly thought she was about to take that three right there. She had a little bit of room. Kicks to Mosley. Grant with the triple team. Mosley, wide open shot, but no good. Wide open shot closed up quickly, and she's going to be fouled. There's going to be three at the free throw line for her. Yeah, that's, that's pretty big right there for Grambling State University. That's, it's even bigger for their momentum as Alabama State University looked like they was kicking out of things, starting to get the wheels turning as the first free throw for Mosley will not drop. We see some substitutions coming in for Alabama State and Grambling State University. We're going to have Carter check in and Casey for Grambling State University over there at the table. As both free throws so far hasn't dropped for Mosley. She took her finger tape off. And the finger tape might have did it. Might have been the uh, reason why she didn't make the first two as she gets the third one through. Graham State University reclaims the 10-point lead, and now we're going to have some substitutions. And as I see, I see Cordesia Harris. Ever since she came in the game, she has not come out yet. Oh, yeah, and she as probably isn't. That's probably why they gave her a first few to give her a little break as Tillis is going to check in for Alabama State University at Sanders. And then we see this vicious full-court press, too. Sanders and then also... Their tallest player has now checked into the game. I think that's Kamaya Tarvez. Yeah, she is. I can't see the number as. Yeah, that's going to be Tarvez. She's 6'3 in the paint. Shot up by Alabama State. A tough layup. And one bucket from Ashley Gray. A lot of English on that one as she was able to get the bucket nice and through. Yeah, as we're seeing here right on the replay. She goes in strong, goes with a little, little bit of finesse around the rim, as I do like to see. The English, 1800s English is just fancy as she puts it in. And she's going to go to the free throw line for one more. And Alabama State University is starting to look like a new team. They have rebranded themselves since the second quarter has begun. And only being down seven. I see they do have a taller lineup in as well. Maybe that can help them crash the boards and the rebound, get back. Almost definitely. You see some bigger bodies on the floor right now. Yeah, I feel like Casey I'm Chairs, Warmsley, back to Chairs. Chairs, three-pointer. Oh, this is going to be a little short. It's going to just slightly kiss the front of the rim. And already, as we've seen, we've seen a great box. We've seen a great box out by Anijah Hawes. She is 6'5", actually. I'm no longer the tallest in the gym, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. She goes down to the paint. Yeah, that's actually good. Yeah. Nigel Hall with the bucket, and actually, you're correct. And Nigel Hall is who I was talking about. I did say Tarvez, excuse me. She is 6'5". She brings a lot of size, and she also just brought a bucket to ASU as the score now is 27-25. It's only a five-point lead for Grandma State University. They led as much as 12. Zanija could not get the bucket in. And Alabama State University is starting to roll a little bit. Sanders on the other way tries to pass to Harris. Jasmine Jackson gets the steal. Fast break opportunity. Jasmine Jackson kicks it out to Chairs. Chairs thought about the three-pointer, but it's going to be a traveling violation. Another traveling violation for Casey Chairs. It's been one of her problems this season. As she, That is her ninth traveling violation so far on this season so far, especially at home. All nine traveling violations have been at home so far. So we're going to have a timeout here on the floor. We're going to watch some replays here. Did you see? She was a very dominant panel. You saw earlier, I said she was that, very that strong. That dominant dribble, too. And this key, key fast break to lead to the and one. Demaya that Young, good. it's that length. It's Demaya Young length. And she's also a great three-point shooter as well. You want to be like the greats? First, believe you are. Greatness requires drip. Not like that. Like this. The greats aren't afraid to fail. They're fueled by it. Trophies require greatness, but greatness doesn't require trophies. Because greatness isn't about what you've done, it's about what you do next. When you join the HBCU family, you become part of the tradition of breaking barriers in your community, breaking ground in your career, and bringing it with everything you do. From how you look, to how you move in the classroom, on the court, and on the field. That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those to add to it in their own way.
Back here on the Grand State University Sports Television Network, I'm Onaje Morris alongside Jordan Scott as we're getting right back here in action. Grand State University only has a five-point lead now as first quarter they were over up to a 12-point lead. Alabama State is starting to wake up and get back into this as Sanders with DP in front of her. DP playing outstanding defense. Takes the screen, Jasmine Jackson. She comes up. Nigel Grant working on Harris. Tips the ball, get, kicks it back out to Sanders. Sanders with no time left, three-pointers, no good. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, we can see you coach your assistant coach, I mean, you could have heard that from outside of the stadium. Jeez. Yeah, she did seem pretty fierce oh, right there. Oh, yeah, she, the shot was not made, but she was furious on the defense that was played there as Grand State University will get the ball. And then I seen Cordeza, she had a strong jab step finish, but she got double team. As we, Amanda Blake tries with a tough layup, and she's going to be fouled in the process. Free throw line for two. She tried to hit the reverse layup, as we try to see, but and they did call foul. As we see, she takes it. She's about to take a baseline right here. Goes for a reverse and gets absolutely slapped on her right hand. That she saw what, that op window, op window of opportunity right there. She pump faked the pass a little bit, a little bit, and then she, you know, took it to the bucket. We haven't seen Amanda Blake do much of that, being aggressive like that, but she definitely, if she utilized that more, she would be more of an aggressive scorer for Graham State University as the first free throw does not fall. Second one, neither, no good. We're going to have a lane violation by Alabama State University. That means a redo of the free throw. A lane violation for folks that don't know because it doesn't happen too much is when a foot or any part of body is in the paint while the free throw is being shot. And as Amanda Blake gets the second chance, she's going to make it count as the free throw drops. So Jasmine Jackson is going to check out, and we're going to have Tenor check in. As we have a much closer basketball game here. Tenor. Tenor is yelling. She's... <laughs> and they forced the turnover. As it works, Tenor is screaming at the top of her lungs as she's playing defense. And Sanders is looking around with a weird look on her face like, why is she doing this? And she turns the ball over. Great tactic there by Tenor. Don't see that much, but hey, we, we, we'll love it if she does it a little bit more as DP. Of course. Passes it around. Amanda Blake, two hands Ooh. in her face. And the bigger player, the mid-range shot. Highly contested. She banks it down. Two points for Graham State University. Eight-point lead. As we've been seeing, those mid-ranges for Graham have been falling all day. Especially on them little wing shot mid-ranges. Little 15-foot shots. They've been looking great all day, OJ. Oh, they've been loving the mid-range. Any shot has been looking pretty for Graham State University as they shot it from anywhere. Harris gets the bucket up. No good. She wanted to take it up herself. She had a yeah. girl wide open in the corner. Nigel Grant tries to take it up court herself. She's going to hand that off to DP, let her do the rest. Amaya Young, three-pointer three is going to be no good as she had the wide-open three-pointer. As from my reaction, as I thought it was going to be nothing. <laughs> yeah, we were over here celebrating with the but bucket. There. <laughs> but she's going to fall a little short there, and the ball is going to be over to ASU. We're going to have some substitutions coming in for Alabama State University is going to be... Arkridge and also is going to be Kanaya Jackson. Excuse me, Kristen Jackson. And we have DK coming out for the first time this game to get a break as she's been playing nonstop the whole game, taking the ball up the court. Finally getting a break as Gray has it. DP in front of her. Gray tries to dribble drive and she loses the ball and there's going to be a fight for it. Hall, Tenner, and Amanda Blake all fighting for it. Possession arrow goes to Graham State University, so they will regain possession. It's always good. To, it's always good to see on a, on a fight like that. As you did say, there's no jump balls in college, so yeah, refs have to make the clear call. Possession arrow is key in that situation. Tenor tries to pass it through a real tight window. Demaya Young fall for it. Be fouled in the process. Graham State University will keep possession of the ball. Ashley Gray was the one that's fouled, and Ashley Gray will be checking out of the game as Danielle Bolton will come into the game. So. Excuse me, that's a correction. That's going to be Alyssa Green-White that checked into the game, number zero instead of number one. 
That is her first time in the game, is the entire game. We have not really seen much from her today. But it seems like she, she's one of their taller players. She is 5'11", so we do expect a little bit more rebounding from this team. Demaya Young is going to check out. Jasmine Jackson is going to check in. Top of the key. It's going to be Aukridge. Passes it to Green-White. Green-White finds Dunn. Dunn thought about it. Green-White with the dribble drive. Tenner in front of her. And she kicks it out, and that's going to be a turnover. And Nigel Grant gets it. DP, fast break opportunity, puts the layup up, and it's going to be no good. But she'll go to the free throw line for two as she was fouled in the process. That's going to be Aukridge with the foul. And she went coast to coast right there, OJ. She wanted to attack the basket strong, try to draw the foul as well. I mean, you usually see that from usually bigger guards, like combo guards, trying to go for those coast to coast, draw the and one. But as she did draw the foul there. DP, first free throw is going to drop. I would say they're one of the best free throw shooting teams in the SWAC. Can't and fail to mention that. I mean, when it, a free throws in that, it kind of shows as that free throw does not drop. It kind of shows with their offensive numbers. You, any team, I guarantee you, any team, most of the teams that you see with high offensive uh, points per game has great free throw numbers as well. As a foul, Jasmine Jackson is going to foul Jackson. Jackson on Jackson action. Jackson's going to go to the free throw for two. And then we have someone else new. As we coming in, see, we see the draw foul. It was a clear foul on the lane. And she gets two shots. So yeah. Ivy is going to check in for Grandma State University. Last one. Oh. And then for Alabama State, we have Hamilton checks in as the first free throw does not drop. And I see, I've never really seen them before. She kind of steps into her free throw shot. Yeah. It's a little bit unique, I would say. Second free throw is good. She has a weird technique there, as you pointed out. DP passes to Ivy. Ivy passes right back. Taking her time with a directed traffic. Passing to Nigel Grant with the mismatch. Mismatch. She doesn't take it to Ivy. To DP. DP, dribble drive. Layup is going to be sent back. Uh, Nigel Grant tries to get another one up, and it's going to be a, it's going to be a call. Wondering what the call is. And before the play, it was a block by Nigel Hall. It's going to be on ASU because Grandma State University is going to get the ball back, trying to get a call from the refs, figure out what's going on. As oh, as Coach Freddie Free, uh, Freedom Freeman Jackson has just got a tech. I see Coach Simmons over there smiling. She's happy with what the refs called. She's As head coach, Frida Freeman Jackson, I mean, she must have said something that got up under her skin as we have perfect time to point out our referees. That's going to be Dylan that's going to be with the call who's on camera right now. But our other referees is going to be Corey and Alex going to be making the tough calls today. And Dylan's over there debating the case. I wonder what was said because... Something triggered her yeah, to give Freeman, ja uh, Freeman Jackson a, a uh, tech there. You never really get under a coach's skin to get a tech. As yeah. I myself have been a coach, and I got teched up before. I have no well, – this is the first time all season since we have even had – we had a tech here, but it would be on a coach the first time that we have a, a tech here at Grandma State as Demaya Young did not get the first free throw to drop. Yeah, that's a second free throw drops. Nine point lead for Graham State University. And I just wonder what was said. Yeah, I, I'm curious as well, OJ. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very curious. I'm, I'm, I'm almost curious to ask Corey here, our ref, <laughs> to, uh, the question, but I'm going to let him do his job as Ivy is going to take it out. DP takes it up. Ivy with the jab step, DP. Nigel almost set the screen, didn't. Ivy. Joe kicks to Amanda Blake, but it's going to be stolen in a process fast break opportunity for Alabama State as they're going to slow it down. Kicks shot up Ooh. by Jackson, and Jackson is going to get the shot to riddle around and is going to go in. And she scores 32 25. She did get those lucky three bounces, and she's loving that nice mid range, range. OJ. She is a mid range dead eye tonight as she hits another one. And Isaac Grant 
now with nine points on the night, 34, 25, only 30 seconds left in this second quarter, first half. It's going to be a foul on Ivy. Too much body on her. Ivy was trying to plead her case, saying that she had her hands up, but Coach Simmons is on her. She was sliding her feet. And now, with, the floor. and now with Freeman Jackson getting the tech in this game so far, Simmons definitely is going to have to, you know, tone it down from what she usually do in games because it doesn't seem like Freeman Jackson did anything other than what Simmons would do. In the paint, Hall tries to pass it out. It's going to be stolen, and Ija Grant gets it. It's going to be a foul on Hamilton as Hamilton now has her third foul so far. And we are in the bonus. They're now in the bonus. Both arrows is pointing to Grambling State University, so now they're in the bonus. Third foul for Hamilton, and uh, if you remember that name, Hamilton hasn't had much done since she scored the first points of the game. Yeah, but Anaja Grant, she's been super dominant today, OJ, as we've seen on the glass, she's been dominant. She's been getting the blocks, and on the scoring-wise, too, with her mid-range shots. Mid-range shots. And, and, and crazy, I was, me and Nate were getting NBA comparisons together and stuff. We was talking about NBA. And my, I couldn't find one for her, but I would say she's like a LaMarcus Aldridge. Mm, she's a good, a perfect, nice mid-ranger, good at defense, and got the body. As it's going to travel out of bounds, another turnover for Alabama State University as they are finding troubles. And for Grambling State University, we already have two scores in the double digit. Anijah Grant and Demaya Young both have 10 points in the game so far. As we have 10 seconds left on the clock, ladies and gentlemen, to go into halftime. I think Grambling State wants his last shot. DP. Dribbling DP. Shot is, is up and it is good! With only three seconds left remaining, she said, hold on. Two all games three. in a row. We've had a buzzer beater. As she runs off the court, she has to. Another one. Send that over to Sewer Spinner Top 10. And they're going to replay that one. And she's going to make sure she got it off. I'm pretty sure she got it off. They're trying to see if that's going to be a two-pointer. That's going to be a two-pointer. She got the bucket off. As another buzzer beater here at Grambling State University. I mean, hey. We're about to get known for it in a second. We'll watch here on the replay. We're watching the same thing the refs are. She takes the step, she takes the oh, step back. That is a little James Harden, like if I do say something. But I think they're, they're trying to figure out the positioning to make sure that, that it was a two or a three-pointer. That's what they're taking a look at right now. We're going to wait. We're going to stay right here to get a little bit of confirmation. I do believe her foot might have been on the line, OJ. I'm not going to lie. But it was a really clean step back that shot. That was a clean step. Attention all Medicaid beneficiaries. You can now qualify for free cell phone service with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data. You heard that right. You can now get your cell phone service and high-speed data absolutely free from a government program called the Affordable Connectivity Program. Just call 800-211-7670 right now to see if you instantly qualify. All callers can qualify based on your income or if you receive assistance from federal public housing, a Pell Grant, SSI, or even free or reduced price school lunch programs. If you or someone in your household is enrolled in Medicaid or any other government assistance programs, you can now instantly qualify to get free cellular service and high-speed data. Plus, keep your phone number with your new free service. Even if you're paying for your plans now with another carrier, you can switch to a free talk, text, and data plan if you qualify. Just call 800-211-7670 to qualify instantly for your free talk, text, and data service. Plus, even get free high-speed internet service. This free program is open and available, so call now. Call 800-211-7670. Cats down by 58 with one minute left. Hey, where's everybody going? This game's not over, so we're not the best. Our kicker stubbed his toe on the ball, and pretty sure our mascot has this costume on backwards. But this, this is our team. No matter what. We are exactly what you think. We are not at all what you think. We are past, present, and future, all in one. Because the best way to honor our history Make history. General Motors, honored to sponsor the Southwestern Athletic Conference. 
You wanted it, you got it. Whataburger's Jalapeno Cheddar Biscuit is back for a limited time. And since you love it so much, we put all our Jalapeno Cheddar Biscuit footage online forever. Just like you like it. Get a shake with your points and some fries on the side with your points. You get more with every order. Ooh, like your favorite water burger or whatever, cause it all gives you more. Where could reinvention take your business? Accenture, let there be change. doing learning that hbcus are not only about networking there's also secret handshakes that's cap hbcus do not have secret handshakes right i mean this secret handshake cool wow these guys are almost cricket 5g fast we're kidding there's no such thing as a secret handshake or is there whoa that's how you do it Save the change its entire location in pursuit of sunlight. Where could reinvention take your business? Accenture, let there be change. Um, this is it. Our last night sharing a room. Tomorrow, we'll be in our new home. They told you buying a home would take years, but didn't help you start. Still, you kept trying. You'll have a yard to play in, a place to dream. Hope makes it happen. With tailored mortgage solutions, Hope Credit Union makes home ownership happen for thousands of people, regardless of income or credit. Brighter futures begin with hope. 
play coming up. Talking about dropping the ball. I got the score. <laughs> Tostitos Hardy Dippers. Best tailgate, brisket. No, real football. Y pollo asado. Poops and wings. Dude, subs. Hot dogs. Chili dogs. No, Dodger dogs. It's gotta be crawfish. Now you're talking burgers. Seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Um, what? You need a hot grill. And an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke, come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day. Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. Grab yourself a Coke. It's tailgate 101. Doritos created Solid Black in 2021 to help fuel the initiatives of black leaders seeking to drive real change. Like Alvin Irby, and his vision to spread literacy, literally. Or Marvin Pierre, who's empowering our youth with skills that bridge the opportunity gap. Or Jessica Johnson, whose dedication to dreams helps make college a reality. And many more. Check out their stories and help shape change. We are Solid Black. Join us and try another angle. Where could reinvention take your business? Accenture, let there be change. What is grambling? Grambling is growing. It's a community. Grambling is an education, an experience. Grambling is legacy, tradition, and future. What is Grambling? Grambling is all of this and more. Grambling is the place where everybody is somebody.
Back here at Grambling State University Sports Television Network, I'm Onal J. Morris alongside Jordan Scott as we're getting action right back here as second half is starting up. Grambling State University had a great first half, a 37-point first half. 37-25 to 25 is the score. It's going to start it off here at Alabama State University's turnover. Yeah, we've been seeing this turnover battle today. That's been the key factor for Grambling today is with the amount of turnovers we've been able to force and to score off those turnovers in transition. DP finds Demaya Young. DP dribble drives, kicks to Grant. Grant with another mid-range shot. Goodness gracious. Looking like Tim Duncan today. And she's getting them all in from the mid-range area. Yeah. As you're going to see... Like you said earlier, you said that Lamar all the comparisons. She's been taking those those decent twos. Tell us to Sanders. Sanders oh. is gonna hit every nothing but net, but in a negative way. That bucket will not find its way in. <laughs> so now DP is taking it up for Grandma State University. As we did see, the three-point shooting for them hasn't been that great today. As a total. When it comes to Alabama State University, they're not a three-point shooting team as DP tries to find Mosley. But Mosley had no clue that ball was coming and it travels out of bounds. Yeah. As they, they have been efficient today from the three, but they have not shot that many. They are towards the bottom in the tenth. They are three for five on the day on threes. As Sanders. <laughs> Corner three. Corner three is good by Alabama State. Nobody really in her real estate in front of her, as that would be Arkridge with the shot. Amanda Blake double team in the paint. She kicks it out to Anija, but loses it. It's going to travel overhead. A turnover. Sanders fast break points are good, and here Alabama State goes again with a roll, catching some momentum. We saw a bit of that in the second quarter as the Maya Young with a three pointer tries to silence that. Doesn't get the three-pointer to go. It goes in and out like a slow Oh, they, she swarmed in, trying to get a quick steal. As that was, Deuce, that was Deuce DP. Deuce Sheen Perrine, try saying that five times. It's Casey Chairs is gonna come in, Amanda Blake and Demaya Young is gonna come out. Tenor is also gonna come in as well. As I've noticed today, we haven't really seen a lot of pick and roll in Alabama State today. Oh, most definitely not. I mean, they've really been keeping everything to a mediocre, to say the least. As they're not one, they're not like the slowest pace, but the pace definitely is not all the way there. They took another corner three. Corner three, no good. Again, another offensive rebound, another opportunity, and this time it's going to be a charm. Gramlin State University. Has to wake up in the second half because Alabama State University has came out to play three points for them, six-point lead for Grand State University. As we've been saying, I, I just said earlier, they didn't take that many threes. They already came out and saw three threes this quarter as they're two for three from the three-point line. As that's going to be a foul. It's going to be on uh, Alabama State to be specifically, but specifically it's going to be on Arkridge, as you can see there. It's a clear foul. Yeah, it didn't set her feet there. She tried to draw the charge. It didn't work so well for her. She and two free throws. And that, that is... Mosley. That is Ari Mosley. Did not get the first free throw to go in. I think we've jinxed them every time we spoke about yeah, free, free throws, throws going in. They and, have a problem finding them. And, OJ, you know who I don't see in the game for Alabama State as they probably gave her a break. That is... Cordesia Harris, as when as she didn't start in the, in the first half, first quarter, she didn't play. She didn't really start in the beginning, then they didn't take her out for a good. She played the entire second, most of the first. This game, I'm, I guess they're giving her a little breather now, the third. Carter comes in, Mosley comes out. Going the other ways, Sanders out of them state. She slows it down, was being trapped there. Carter on hook, hooks. Tilly. Tilly's shot is no good. Offensive rebound by Alabama State. I mean, Alabama State is looking a lot different on the boards right now. They've been getting a lot of offensive rebounds so far as Hooks 
top of the key, finds Sanders. Sanders takes the screen. Sanders kicks out to Alkridge. Yep, Time is there. running low. One second left. Top shot clock violation. And Grambling State University gave up the offensive rebound, but they played tremendous defense in the contrary of it and got the ball back off of the turnover. That was a great defensive possession as we came, we seen them come out in a full court press. It was very vicious, very hard as they came down the court and they get, took up a shot. I believe they got the rebound. They had a girl wide open in the paint for a quick second. They had a little mismatch, but they weren't able to abuse it at all. Just wasn't able to utilize it. Just didn't have enough time. As we see Casey to Tanner. Tanner with the easy mid-range shot to go in. And mid-range has been their home, their real estate so far. As Jackson's taking it up fast for Alabama State University. Aukridge, Aukridge with the floater shot. But that's going to be a, a charge. charge violation. Great job there. I believe that was DP with the, with the setup. It was DP, and she did plant her feet there, I believe. DP with the great IQ, great play there to get the charge call on her. DP taking it up, kicks out. Chairs finds center. Back to Chairs. Chairs thought about it. Chairs isn't going to shoot it. We have DP in the corner. She doesn't want to take a screen. Put ah, it is that's going to be a turnover there. Sanders was able to get that ball right out the air. Sanders get the ball back in there playing that zone defense again. That zone We're is seeing that 3 2 zone. There's going to be a foul on Mosley. Too much contact in the paint. When they had that 3 2 zone, that's what was being very efficient for them. It was working in the beginning when they had that 3 2 zone in the first quarter. They went up in that big run, of OJ. They switched to man. Man wasn't that bad, but in the beginning of the third, they've been killing them on the three. So they want to get that 3 2 zone as that eliminates possibilities for three point chances. As Alkridge comes out, Ashley Gray comes in. Start a little bit of a screen there. Oh. Shot up by Hooks. Shot is good by Hooks. And I mean, the ball is rolling for Alabama State University. Didn't see many threes in the first half two so far in this third quarter as Casey Chairs puts up one of her own. Oh, he hello. Right Back and forth action. She said, you have it. No, you have it. As both hands off three pointers to each other. Score is nine point lead for Gramlin State University. Ashley Gray kicks to the corner. Sanders thought about it. Hooks. Jackson. Jackson has Carter switch up on her. Sanders with the three pointer. Sanders Good. is going to hit the glass. And that was a wild three-pointer. That was a little a deep, oh, I want to say a little bit of NBA range. That was pretty deep. Sanders, that's her. That's where she likes to shoot it from as DP tries to do a little too much on the jab step. It's going to be a traveling violation. We're going to have a timeout here on the floor. It's going to be Frida Freeman Jackson. as She's trying to get her, I mean, she is screaming at the top of her lungs because her group is getting together but just not close enough to the point to where they are ahead in this game. Get a shake with your points and some fries on the side with your points. You get more with every order. Ooh. Like your favorite water burger or whatever, cause it all gets you more. Hey, Don, what made you become a Cricket Campus Ambassador? Do tell. I live to network. HBCU's all about that. The key word being network. <laughs> oh, like a certain network that has speedy 5G and is a proud sponsor of HBCUs? I see you could take a hint. <laughs> I can drop a hint too, Don. <laughs> reinvention take your business. Accenture, let there be change. You want to be like the greats? First, believe you are. Greatness requires drip, not like that. 
like this. The greats aren't afraid to fail. They're fueled by it. Trophies require greatness, but greatness doesn't require trophies. Because greatness isn't about what you've done, it's about what you do next. Back here on the Grandma State University Sports Television Network, I'm Onaj Morris alongside Jordan Scott. As we're getting back into action, Alabama State University has put in a good bid. They have been making outstanding runs, but Grandma State University has such big impact plays on the other end just to hold that momentum long enough for Grandma State to keep the lead. As we're back here, Sanders, top of key. Gray to Jackson. Jackson out to Hooks. Hooks, three-point shot, no good. Anijah Grant with the rebound. Jackson with the attempt. And Jackson will not get the ball. It's going to be jump ball, but the possession arrow goes to Gramlin. So they will have the ball back. I'm surprised Coach is a bad on that one. That was a good strip by the player, but it's still grand ball. Warmsley. Tenner with the drive. Ooh. Tenner with the nice move. Change of hands. Floater shot. I mean, a, a circus shot there by Tenner. Two points in. Ooh. And... And that's going to be a turnover as Ashley Gray tries to find Jackson. Couldn't find her. Even with a magnifying glass, she lost her there. As we can see from Zyla Turner, she's been turned all game. As we've been, I've been hearing from the sideline. As you can hear her yell, oh. Oh, as Sanders got right into the passing lane there. Got the, got the steal, but couldn't get the bucket to go in. Almost an easy give-and-go layup there, but couldn't get it to fall. Great defensive play by Sanders, just could not finish the play as Nigel Grant had got the rebound and got fouled. Was actually going to be a foul on Grambling State University. Oh, no, excuse me. It's going to be a jump ball, and the possession arrow goes to Alabama State University, so Alabama State will get the ball back. Hooks, three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Sanders. Alabama State still has it. Double teamed over there. Jackson kicks it down. Ooh. And the layup is going to be made by Bolton. As she goes off the glass there. I see Alabama State trying to shoot their way back into this game. Oh, nice pass by Tenner to Casey Chairs. No good. Three pointer is going to be no good. Hooks with a three pointer of her own. She doesn't shy away from shooting threes. Her third three in a row. No success so far as Casey Chair. She's had one three-pointer so far. Hooks has one three-pointer in this uh, third quarter so far. She's one for four. Casey Chair is in the corner. Harris in front of her. And Andrew Grant, Grant, she meets a stone wall in Bolton, but be fouled in the process. As Anijah Grant ran into a uh, Bolton and she literally went nowhere as you can see here she just stood tall right there OJ stood, Stonewall just didn't move the contact didn't bother at all as Tenner will get it in off the inbound Tenner mid range shot no good Amanda Blake first one with her hands on it and there's going to be a fight for it and that is Bolton from Alabama State as, like you said Stonewall she did that again and this time they call yeah. foul or, excuse me, another foul on her. It's two fouls in a row. I wonder if Coach might take her out. As we're seeing Anijah Grant holding her wrist. She's been holding her wrist like it's irritated for the last few plays. It's Tenner with nice moves down in the paint. I mean, she, I mean, she gets things going when she's down there. And she doesn't get the points to go, but she will go to the free throw line for the opportunity of two. And we have a nice lead. She can make this a double digit lead. As Alabama State, they did cut it down to six at one point. There it is, that's our 10 point lead right there. They had it within six when they were hitting all those threes and now Graham has a 10 point lead. They had it up to close to five. Yeah, it makes it just, I mean, kind of let it slip through their fingers there. Second free throw is good. It seems like every time we don't talk about the free throw percentage, they make them. 
as Tanner, I mean, she is keeping with this screaming technique. I, I mean, I'm quite honestly a great fan of it. Corner shot, she thought about it. Dunn passes to Jackson. Jackson mid-range, stop and pop, no good. Nothing but net in the negative way. As some people might say, they might say, who moved the goal? <laughs> the goal was the dodging the shot. Yeah. <laughs> as Amanda Blake is gonna check it out. DP. Takes it up. Blake Amanda Blake. Take that mid -range. Amanda Blake with the mid-range shot, no go. She's been very comfortable with that mid-range shot all day, her and Anija Grant. Bolton with the rebound. Bolton with a little bit of ferociousness on the rebound, a little bit of elbows thrown. As Sanders will have it, DP in front of her. Um, Jackson. DP pokes the ball out of bounds. Alabama State University possession. The Lady Hornets will keep it. Retain possession. We got checking in. Coming in is going to be Aukridge. Coming out is going to be Jackson for Alabama State University. On the floor for Grambling is DP, Amanda Blake, Warmsley, Tenner, and Gardner. As Dunn, Warmly is playing great defense on Dunn. And then Amanda Beck, Blake is going to be called with a foul. Too much physicality on star player there, Harris. Yeah, Harris has been a little quiet in the second Harris half. Harris so has far. been a little bit quiet so far in the second half. I mean, even in the game total, she has five points so far, two fouls on the day. I mean, I don't know, rebounding wise, she did make a little bit of an impact in the first half, but overall, She's been a little bit quiet today. Grandma's done a great job setting her down. Yeah, they've been uh, in, in, in quite a way, they've been operating when they've had those runs where they're getting close to Grambling. It's all been without Harris. Oh, Harris. And I think I spoke too soon. Up. Excuse me. <laughs> Three pointer is good. Youch. She comes right for us with that dagger. Mm. Yeah. Is that going to go out of bounds? It's going to be Alabama State University's ball. And, it seems like they're picking up the snowball in that momentum here again. 49-41. Yep. Harris, I mean, goodness. I think she heard you. She, it couldn't yeah. have been me. She, she, she clapped back at you on that one. As yeah. Sanders, the DP in front of her. It's like as soon as I said it, she said, she said hold on. It's like she maybe she's it listening up to the I broadcast. Mean, she, she nailed it. Oh, the finishing touches would have been telling us to hush up, put a finger over her mouth or something. As we see here, gonna have some substitutions. Warmsley and Amanda Blake is gonna come out. We're gonna have Anijah Grant and Jasmine Jackson come in. Yep, as we do see top of the key, there goes that woman again. That's oh. Shot up by Dunn. It's gonna be a foul on Tenner. She had her hands straight up, but just in the way of those arms. As you can see here. Yeah, that right arm kind of hooked the other one. You're going to get called for that every time. Dunn be at the free throw line for two. Oh, first one sinks in. Oh, as both. Was what first free throw falls, second one doesn't. An offensive rebound by Alabama State University. It seems like when they get things rolling, they have it rolling. And when it stops, it for sure stops. It's shot up by Harris is no good. DP taking it the other way. DP loses her footing, but doesn't lose the ball. Kicks out to Tenner. Tenner jab steps, tries to take it in tough, and she'll be fouled by Bolton. She says she gets up on her own. She doesn't need any help there. Tim Tenner has been relentless trying to find the bucket for two all game, and she has been. She's going to go through the free, free throw line for another two. This is her third trip to the free throw line today. Let me see. Taking two shots on. Tanner, these are going to be her first points of the game for Tanner today as she drills the first one. Oh. That's 11 points. 
now for. My bad, ladies and gentlemen. I did get the numbers confused. Both both free throws will drop. Sanders. 40 seconds left to go. DP. DP just being a little too strong there. Call for the foul. Both teams are in the bonuses. Two free throws for Sanders. With a free throw here, Sanders can make it to where she's the leading scorer on her team on the day if she makes this free throw. Sanders, free throw is good. Sanders is, has an iconic look, especially if you know her from last year. She wears her hair like that, but she was known specifically for having both buns being a different color majority of the time and majority of the season. As both free throws drop, and it's gonna be a foul. I heard someone in the crowd say, this is not the NBA. It's not the NBA. Certain things happen here as DP takes it on the other side. To Jackson. Elijah Grant. 22 seconds left. Shot clock winding down. Tenner. Jackson. Deep three pointer. Deep three pointer. Goodness gracious. She shot that from West Campus. <laughs> That's going to make it in. 11 point lead now for Grandma State University as we're trailing. We're going into this fourth quarter. Time runs out. No shot up. Score is going to stay here. 54 43. Gramlin State University with an 11 point lead heading into the fourth and final quarter. We'll be right back here with the last quarter of action back here on the Gramlin State University Sports Television Network. <laughs> Did you know HBCUs are a great place to network? Yes! Did you know Cricket has a great network with speedy 5G and is a proud supporter of HBCUs? Yes! yes. Mia, everybody already knows that. <laughs> Dante, did you know this is an A and B conversation? So you need to see yourself at. He knows now. <laughs> We are exactly what you think. We are not at all what you think. We are past, present, and future, all in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. General Motors, honored to sponsor the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Um, this is it. Our last night sharing a room. Tomorrow, we'll be in our new home. They told you buying a home would take years, but didn't help you start. Still, you kept trying. You'll have a yard to play in, a place to dream. Hope makes it happen. With tailored mortgage solutions, Hope Credit Union makes home ownership happen for thousands of people, regardless of income or credit. Brighter futures begin with hope. Here at the Frederick C. Hobby Arena, Grambling State University has an 11 point lead going into the fourth and final quarter. Defense, offense, everything has been going for Grambling State University in a sense. The leading scorer so far is going to be a Cole. We're going to see if maybe one could get ahead of the other, as we're going to have a Nigel Grant and Tenor both having 12 points so far. And then Demaya Young sitting on the bench already has 10 herself. Have three double-digit scores in this game so far. Tenor has been doing an outstanding job as well as Elijah Grant as fourth quarter has already started. Fight over the ball, steals it from Harris. DP, DP is gonna have. She almost kicked the ball up there, but it's gonna be a kick. There's gonna be a foul on Dunn. Kick ball came after Dunn's foul, so Grandma State University is gonna keep the ball here. And that is a good call by the ref. As I did see a little bit of players trying to um, fight for the kickball violation. Passes over to Tenner. 
She takes the screen from Grant, DP. She's going to drive, Tenner dribble drives out, kicks out, and the three-pointer's no good. And Nigel Grant able to get it, but there's gonna be an over the back foul. Not on the Nigel Grant though, that's gonna be on, it's gonna be on actually Alabama State, that's gonna be on Oak Ridge. Yeah, she completely leaned back for the rebound. Yeah, so McKinney takes the three, doesn't make the three, but a Niger Grant cleans it up and gets the rebound. Grandma State University will have the ball here. DP will take it out. Lady Tigers trying to add to this lead here. DP to Tenner. McKinney, mid-range shot, no good. Going to be foul on Jasmine Jackson. It's going to be the Lady Hornets ball still. So we're going to have some substitutions here. Jasmine Jackson is going to come out. Ivy is going to come in. Is it down court? Sanders. Full court press again as McKinney. So in front of her still by Ivy. She checks right in and gets a still immediately. It's DP. It's going to take her time. McKinney says screen, doesn't take it. Hooks it in front of DP. Passes to Kenny. Tenner, excuse me. Ivy. Dribble drive. Ivy will be fouled in the process. Done on the foul. That's why they didn't realize it's a strip. As we're gonna see here on the replay, she drives strong left. Yeah, this seemed like it's just a little bit too much physicality there. She just stripped the ball straight away from her. Tenner, dribble driving a strong block by Harris. Goodness gracious, sent that one back. Sound like volleyball was being played in here. Sanders to Hooks, Hooks, another three-pointer and she just doesn't think about it. She puts it up. Three-pointer no good, offensive rebound and a foul. Two to the line for Dunn. And she, she made, after making that first three-pointer, it seems like she slowed down a lot a in the second half. But she's also just letting it fly from wherever. Yeah. She doesn't care. I know Coach Frieda Freeman Jackson is not happy about those. She's an unmarked airport. airport. She's letting them fly from wherever. Dunn, three-pointer, no good. Tenner going the other way, fast break opportunity. Fast break points, layup, and it's gonna be good. Tack on another two, and now the leading scorer for Grandland State University is Tenner with 14 points on the night. Done. High pass to Harris. It's gonna be a foul on McKinney. Did we see a sub come in. As you see, she gave Harris a little bit of a push to the back on the way to the bucket, and we're gonna see some new faces on the floor. Ashley Gray is checking in for, for the Lady Hornets, and we'll also have Jackson. Same faces for Grand State University. Harris is also gonna come out. Jackson, mid-range shot, no good, but was fouled in the process. As they haven't been able to keep their hands to themselves that much today. A lot of physicality, like you said earlier in the game. Seeing the physicality in this game, she's going to take two free throws on the day. Because that is... Her hair is in the way of the jersey. It is number 12. She has... Jackson. That is four on the day for her. Another free throw. Oh, yeah, she's no the good. One I, she's th she, that's the one I talked about earlier with her weird form on the free throw. Yeah, stepping into the free throws. And fourth quarter is a the tallest task for Alabama State University. This is where they scored their least amount of points. Nigel Grant couldn't get the bucket to go in. It's going to travel out of bounds. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Last touch by Alabama State University. It's going to go right back to the Lady Tigers. Oh, that is a little bit of a shocking call there. Close I see, call. I see a little bit of hear a little bit of hype the, in the crowd through my headphones. I can hear. They're excited. That is still grand ball. Freeman Jackson is going to have to 
cool things out here. And she was something seeing her seeing her signaling to Simons to be quiet. DP jab steps around Ashley Gray. Another foul. Oh, it's gonna actually be a turnover. It's gonna be out of bounds. DP foot was on the baseline. A lot of whistles being blown, a lot of turnovers here. Sanders, top of the key, DP in front of her. Jackson, tenor in front of her. Gray, Bowden working in the paint. Ball stolen by point. Ivy. Fast break opportunity, Ivy is taking up fast. Jackson strips it away, bounce pass to Nigel Grant. Doesn't get it through, it's gonna be stolen by Sanders. Another fight for it, and there's gonna be a timeout by Alabama State so they can keep possession. Smart timeout there. Talking timeouts, we're gonna take one here. We'll be right back on the Grambling State University Sports Television Network. From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Finally, another wide receiver in the house, my man. So, you ready to learn how the Heismans do it? Can't wait. Once at eight, then again at six. Hi, did one of you gentlemen use Nissan at home to order 40 Pathfinders? Baker said it's another Heisman thing. I didn't think you'd believe me. Here are your keys, sir. Back here on the Grand State University Sports Television Network, I'm on Ajay Morris alongside Jordan Scott. As we're getting right back into action, of course, Grand State University has a 12-point lead, trying to hold it all the way through this W today. Releasing grip. Only a single press. We see someone new checking in the game, and that is Jordan Carter. Hooks, Jackson, Ivy in front of Jackson. She's going to pass it to Sanders. Kicks back out. Gray takes it strong, but Anija Grant even stronger with the block. Denies that fast break opportunity. Carter tries to save it, kicks it out to Ivy. Is going to travel out of bounds. Fast break opportunity. Just got a little sloppy there. Great work defensively by Nigel Grant. Every time she's going to put a contest up every time. Sanders, Carter in front of her. And Carter's gonna be that key in fourth going on these last six minutes of the stretch. Takes the screen, hooks. Hooks, dribble drives. And that's going to be a foul on Carter. Carter's first foul of the night. All Grandmas really do here is hold out. Six minutes. Yes, Hooks only has three points so far. He's going to hold out for six minutes and... Graham can get this win and go on a nice three-game winning streak because they're on a two-game winning streak right now. And they have another home game coming up, Alabama A&M on Monday. Yeah, and Alabama A&M isn't no regular slice of cake, if you ask me, too. They are a, a, a very perplexed team for the women's and men's as the free throw doesn't drop. McKinney going the other way. Fast break opportunity, slow it down, kicks out. Oh, good ball movement. Gray tries to steal it. Couldn't be State. the savior of that one as he goes out of bounds. Grandma State University will keep possession. Try to save the ball right there. And it was almost a good play, but her foot stepped out of bounds. 
Dribble drive, Carter. Carter gets her feet tangled up there. It's gonna be foul. It just determines if it's gonna be a foul on Sanders or is it Hooks? They both was there at the same time. I'm gonna say it's, it, it's Sanders. The foul is gonna be on Sanders. You see someone trying to scramble to get open. We have Niza Grant. Grant to Tenner, back to Grant. Screen set, kicks it out to Tenner, and Tenner just out of the area code of Tenner too much. Gonna travel out of bounds. Grandma State University has not scored a single point in the last two minutes. Yeah, so we always, we're seeing a little bit of a, a little bit of a stalemate, I want to say. Yeah, it has it from both teams actually. As Carter checks out, Warmsley checks in. Hooks. Sanders, with her range, has definitely thought about that three. Hooks, of course, is gonna shoot it. Hooks with another miss to the three-pointer. Offensive rebound by Ashley Gray. She puts it up and is gonna be fouled and process it to the free throw line for two. Hooks just can't connect on them threes after yeah, that first Hook, one. After that she's first one, that she's, since her first three, she is going actually not even 0 for 5, 0 for 6. So far, so she's one for seven when it comes to three points, and that's the only shot she's been taking. So her field goal percentage is, I know her field goal is one for seven. She's only taking those three balls, too. That first, I mean, that first one did look pretty nice, but some of these are just in and out or even the air balls. Been a tough night for her overall as Gray. First free throw is in. And they make this a, she's gonna try and cut this into a single digit lead after this one. Second free throw up and good. Alabama State turns a 11 point lead into nine. And of course, their, their superwoman has checked into the game. And that's gonna be for Alabama State is gonna be Cordacia Harris. Haven't seen much of her for real, and not as much as you would expect. Yeah, from a, especially from a star player like her, I think almost forced a turnover. As Alabama State's bench is getting turned up, they're trying to hype their team, McKinney, and the paint, McKinney. She could put her fingers up and tell her she's too little. And she gets the bucket in and reclaims that 11 point lead. She wants to snatch back. Harris. They need to get a quick bucket here to cut the lead down. DP. Another one. Great defense. The offensive rebound by Sanders. And I mean, Grand State University had three bodies in the paint compared to one of Alabama State, and the rebound still went to Alabama State University. Half the box out of those situations is going to be a foul on the Niger Grant. Nigel Grant is going to have, if I'm not, this is going to be her third foul on the night so far. Four minutes and 42 seconds left. We'll see how that turns out. We have a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout here. We'll be right back here on the Grambling State University Sports Television Network. doing learning that hbcus are not only about networking there's also secret handshakes that's cap hbcus do not have secret handshakes right you mean this secret handshake cool wow these guys are almost cricket 5g fast we're kidding there's no such thing as a secret handshake or is there whoa that's how you do it The walking 
country is said to change its entire location in pursuit of sunlight. Where could reinvention take your business? Accenture. Let there be change. Part of this game is brought to you by Louisiana Feed Your Soul. Coca-Cola, the official soft drink beverage of Grambling State University. Adidas, impossible is nothing. Right back here, Grambling State University with an 11-point lead. Alabama State at the free throw line. Opportunity of two Sanders at the free throw line. First free throw misses. Four minutes, 42 seconds left here to play in this fourth quarter. And like we said, 11-point lead for Gramlin. Leading the score so far has been Tenner as both free throws doesn't drop. Tenner with the rebound, taking it the other way. Fast break opportunity, two versus three. Fast work by Tenner. Doesn't get the layup to get in, but, geez, she was over there on the other side. A snap of a finger. Cameraman couldn't even get over to her quick enough. Sonic Speed Racer, Sledgehog, as she puts the layup up and does not get it in. Free throws for her. Yeah, she tried to get that and one foul. Man, I mean, in a blink of an eye, looking like Tyreek Hill. Yeah, that <laughs> with the speed there. With that 4-3 speed. Ah, blurring as this free throw is no good. Gramlin State University will only now have a 12-point lead. There we'll she have Aukridge with Tenner in front of her. Passes to Jackson. Jackson tries to take it strong. And Anija Grant with another block sends that one upwards. And that's going to be a foul on Warnsley after the block. Great defensive work once again by Anija Grant. And we're going to see some changes here. Ashley Gray, shooter for shooter. Ashley Gray comes out. Hooks comes in. Hooks has been struggling. She's been shooting, but she's been struggling as well. It's a tale of the two S's. As we'll have the, the walk-in free throw. No good. Does that remind you of any NBA player right there, OJ? God, uh, <laughs> none. Probably Rick Barry with a weird underhand free throw. Oh, DP. Yeah. DP is going to be called with the foul there. I think, they call, I think they may have called travel, actually. As Coach Simmons let her stop, let her know, stop turning the ball over. Your jersey is white, indicating stop passing it to the black jerseys. Simmons, I, one thing you can tell, that she loves these girls, but it's a lot of tough love in between that. Of course. Sanders with Carter on her. As DP checks out the game, Carter checks in. Tenner in front of her going to be awkward. Jackson to Sanders. Jackson dribble drives on McKinney. No good. Offensive rebound by Harris. is going to be no good again. Another opportunity, but that's going to be a foul by Jackson. And like a good friend of mine, who moved the goal, man? <laughs> that was another miss. It was a wide, wide right. It's going to be a foul on Gramlin, and that's going to be a turnover. Here in Grandma State University is not going to have possession. Alabama State will. That's Frida Freeman Jackson getting her troops together. And Simmons will as well. A little bit of history on these two. Like we said, as far as SWAC competition, the Grandma State University record is what Simmons' record is in a SWAC, which is pretty low. Not that many wins. I mean, she's just starting off. She's 6 and 3 in a SWAC. She's 12 and 8 in. Uh, all overall uh, record. But when it comes to the other side, Frida Freeman Jackson, she has everything when it comes to experience. Oh. As weird ref Corey comes over here and let us know if the ball did touch the rim, they're gonna put on four seconds. If not, time has ran out and that's what the stop has been for. But on the other end, for Fred Frida Freeman Jackson, she is, I mean, Experience and outstanding to the fullest. 26th season here with Alabama State University. 
She has 367 wins. She has uh, three SWAC regular season titles. She uh, has three SWAC tournament uh, uh, wins, and she also has three trips to the NCAA tournament and one WNIT berth. And I mean, she has done outstanding things. This is the first time in the last five years that going into the last few games of the season, not being either third or fourth place in the SWAC, they are placed at the bottom, but I'm telling you one thing, Frida Freeman Jackson won't find her way at the bottom for long. As we're getting right back into this one, Steele, Grandma State University going the other way, Tenner to Warmsley. Warmsley's gonna take her time, Alabama State in a 3-2 zone. And this is a As McKinney, she tries oh. to tries to pass the ball all the way over. I think they were trying to pass to us, OJ. Hey, I think that wanted me to check in. I, hey, I'll take this suit off. Yeah, I do got <laughs> I do, I do my Jordans off. I'll lace them up. This would be like Joanna, man. Y'all don't want to see that. As check in a game. As this is a must win game for Gremlin, our, G, our Lady Tigers. This will move us all the way up in the leaderboard in the SWAC with the win here. Awkward side, side corner three is no good. Travel over the backboard, so from what I know, that's gonna be a turnover. As we see Jackson, she's holding herself, she's in pain. Warmsley taking it up to Carter. Grant trying to get open in the paint. Tenner, dribble drive to Grant. Oh, what a great die. pass, what a great look. Binoculars out for Tenner as she finds Grant with the assist. Easy two buckets for her. And there, Alabama State is in, on panic mode now as they are down big here with two minutes remaining in the game, two minutes, two seconds left. As Carter gets in the passing lanes, the still fast break opportunity, she's all by herself. And she will get the bucket to count for something, two points. As we're gonna have a timeout, Frida Freeman Jackson is fed up right now. She is through the roof hot as Simmons is gonna get her group together and they're gonna have a little bit of consultation. We will be right back here on the Grandma State University Sports Television Network. This is it, our last night sharing a room. Tomorrow, we'll be in our new home. They told you buying a home would take years, but didn't help you start. Still, you kept trying. You'll have a yard to play in, a place to dream. Hope makes it happen. With tailored mortgage solutions, Hope Credit Union makes home ownership happen for thousands of people, regardless of income or credit. Brighter futures begin with hope. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream. All hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool Your School. We're powered by purpose. Frederick, C. Hobley, Arena, Willis Reed, Court. Grandma State University is up in commanding lead. Two minutes, 30 seconds left, trying to seal this one away. Hooks to Bowden. Bowden finds Sanders. Top of the key. It's going to be Oakridge. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if we start seeing some jacked up threes here as a desperation to come back in the game. Almost definitely. It's desperation time as Hamilton gets the mid-ranger up. No good. As the ball travels out of bounds, Wormsley and Sanders fall for it, but Alabama State University will get the ball right back. Gremlin University, they have kind of, they've been going back and forth between zone and man defense. It's giving Alabama State a lot of problems. Another steal by Carter, two in a row, two, three, Fast break, Tenner has to slow it down as it was a pass a little bit behind her. Tenner with the spin move, Ooh. got the shot up, will be fouled instead, but a nice spin move as she was almost, almost put a little bit of English on that one. 
We almost saw an and one. But that was a beautiful spin move. We're going to see here in the replay. Works our way around. Mm. Spin cycle. Somebody come and do their laundry. <laughs> Tanner at the free throw line for two. And it, it, it gets so quiet in here. It's like you can hear a pin drop <laughs> in here. You can hear a pin drop. I didn't even want to say that out loud. I had to whisper it as it happens again. It is dead silent in the room. I feel like I need to whisper too. There we go. She Both free throws that. drops. Grambling yeah. State University is close and embarking on a 20-point lead with only two minutes left here. We have some substitutions. Hooks is going to come out. Jackson is going to come in. Sanders bringing it up. Aukridge, double drives, kicks to Jackson. Aukridge, three-pointer, no good. Fights for the rebound. Bowden will get the offensive rebound, but there will be a foul in the process. It looks like Grant took one to the mouth. Well, I just heard some of the crowd say the game's not over yet. I don't know what that first miss, I'm not sure. We're going to have to see some miracle threes here for them to come back. Both free throws, no good. Everything's going Gramlin's way. Warmsley, Carter, oh, great play opportunity there. As Warmsley to Carter to Tenner was about to be the perfect trio to get that bucket in, but just could not find Tenner to seal that one off. No avail. Grandma State University is going the other way. One minute and 33 seconds left. It's safe to say that Grandma State University has done what they needed to to have a little bit of comfortability, a little bit of cushion. They have been able to pull away. And they are going to move to a three-game winning streak, and they're going to move up in the swag too, OJ. Move up in the swag. This is going to be important because they have a game Monday as well against the Alabama a and Lady Bulldogs. It's going to be a big one. The ball travels out of bounds. So far in this game, outstanding work by Tenner. And this is one of these, this team, these girls, doesn't matter who really it is out on the floor for them at any time. They're, everybody's a star. Even their star player doesn't need the, the same amount of production as everybody else's. McKinney passes out to Carter. And we're going to have a timeout right in the midst of it. Simmons is going to call the timeout for Grandma State University. So we'll take a timeout real quick. We'll be right back here on the Grandma State University Sports Television Network. Doritos created Solid Black in 2021 to help fuel the initiatives of black leaders seeking to drive real change. Like Alvin Irby and his vision to spread literacy literally. Or Marvin Pierre who's empowering our youth with skills that bridge the opportunity gap. Or Jessica Johnson, whose dedication to dreams helps make college a reality. And many more. Check out their stories and help shape change. We are Solid Black. Join us and try another angle. Back here on the Grandma State University Sports Television Network. I'm on AJ Morris alongside Jordan Scott as we are rolling into the final minute of this game. I mean, back and forth, a lot of stuff we've been seeing from them. Warmsley, top of the key. There's 56 seconds left. As Grandma's gonna close out this game, all they have to do is hold it out and waste his clock. Yeah, kind of wait. They just hold on to the ball and ride, run this clock out. Not much more they have to do, but Warmsley will shoot a three. Anijah Grant oh. gets the offensive rebound, put back, no good. 
Alabama State University will be able to get the rebound going the other way. Jackson, Euro step blocked by Amanda Blake. That's how you seal it off. Amanda Blake with the decline, the veto. As now we're seeing this in the last final 20 seconds as Gramlin State University has every right and will dribble this one out. A outstanding win by them. Our Lady Tigers will now advance to 13 and eight overall and in swag play seven and three after today. We will see where that lands them. Will they still be in third or tied at second place in the SWAC? Tied with Southern University, who's there right now. We'll see how that stands after this one, after today goes. But this helps Gremlin State University stay in the top three. Yeah, it's up. As Gremlin State University concludes, your score is 65-48. Big win for Gremlin State University. Like I said, they advance to 12 and uh, 13 and 8, 7 and 3 on the, Swede, the season. And Alabama State University falls to 3 and 18 overall and 3 and 7 in swag play. When we be when we come back, we will have head coach Simmons come over for an interview. So we're not the best. Our kicker stubbed his toe on the ball, and pretty sure our mascot has his costume on backwards. But this, this is our team. No matter what. Attention all Medicaid beneficiaries. You can now qualify for free cell phone service with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data. You heard that right. You can now get your cell phone service and high-speed data absolutely free from a government program called the Affordable Connectivity Program. Just call 800-211-7670 right now to see if you instantly qualify. All callers can qualify based on your income or if you receive assistance from federal public housing, a Pell Grant, SSI, or even free or reduced price school lunch programs. If you or someone in your household is enrolled in Medicaid or any other government assistance programs, you can now instantly qualify to get free cellular service and high-speed data. Plus, keep your phone number with your new free service. Even if you're paying for your plans now with another carrier, you can switch to a free talk, text, and data plan if you qualify. Just call 800-211-7670 to qualify instantly for your free talk, text, and data service. Plus, even get free high-speed internet service. This free program is open and available, so call now. Call 800-211-7670, 800-211-7670. Building champions for life didn't just happen overnight. Since 1920, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, SWAC, has been in the forefront in leadership and excellence in all our athletic programs. There are very few major sports halls of fame that a SWAC athlete is not a member. Hall of Fame coaches who were stewards and mentors to these elite athletes, our tradition, our distinction, our legacy. We are the SWAT, building champions for life. Hello and welcome back to the Grambling State University Sports Television Network. I'm Onaje Morris, and of course, after every game, we have to get an interview with Coach Simmons. Now, another great win, and I mean, against a very historical coach as well. Was there anything special going into this game, knowing who the coach was and this team history going into this one? I mean, I don't uh, scout the coaches, so no. I, I mean, and that's no disrespect. It's just, we just come out and try to play the bas best basketball we can play. It has nothing to do with the coaches. I said that last time when we made a big deal about us playing UAPB is never about the coaches and always about the kids and so I, I think um, you know that we, we, we're just not starting games off well and it, it's just kind of um, keeping up throughout the game we, we just got to be better we got to be better most definitely defense has been kicking up I've seen a lot of zone and man throughout the uh, throughout the game a lot of switch up was that in the game plan beforehand or is that something you implemented into as the game yeah it was kind of our game plan beforehand we, we change our defenses a lot uh, and I think we, we have to do it more in games where we are winning to try to get some game reps and try to get some practice in it but uh, again we, we just got to be better it wasn't great now, 23 turnovers we, we got to be better oh yeah just a little bit but 
that individual play, it seems like every night for you guys, it's always a new player or mm -hmm. somebody at the top of the ranks. Tenor tonight, I mean, was getting everything what she wanted from the bucket. And also, Anijah Grant, can you kind of highlight their play on tonight? Well, let's talk about Anijah Grant. She had uh, 11 rebounds at halftime, and she finished with 18. Uh, she had a double-double, 18 and 14. I'll take that any day of the week. Um, but, but I always say that, you know, if you shoot for the moon, even if you miss, you might land amongst the stars. And so for us, just being satisfied with having 18 rebounds when she could have had 25, you know, that, that's kind of my, my message to her after the game. Always try to be as dominant as possible. She did a good job. Zayla Tennis, she needed a game like this. I think uh, she's with missing the first half of the season. She's still trying to find a rhythm. We're not even playing good basketball, but we're finding ways to win. So I'll take the wins until we can start playing a little bit better as a team. Thank you so much, Coach. Big game Monday. We'll see Absolutely. you there. And we'll see, hopefully, get a big win there, yeah, too, as well. For All sure. Right, Thank you. We'll be right back here with the beginning of the men's game tip-off in the starting lineup.